Hello, Jack Llewellyn with the Durango Chamber of Commerce here with Chamber Chat. Thanks for joining us. So the chamber, like everybody, pivoted in 2020 during the pandemic. We relaunched the Southwest Task Force, convened all the group back from the 416 fire. We also introduced the Grand Junction Five Star Program to the committee members, and then the state adopted the Five Star Program, and we moved forward with that. We've also sponsored the Business Improvement District, also known as BID, Holiday Rewards Program and Spring Rewards Program, which is going on right now. We had nearly 1,400 survey responses. We shared those with local, state, and federal officials, letting them know what the local chamber felt and our members felt. Immediately participated with the Save Our Business Coalition, which is a national organization, We also pivoted to virtual trainings, hosted 14 sessions, total of 728 in attendance. We also were distributing masks, 2,650 masks, and almost, I'm gonna say, 200,000 Reference USA or Data Axle downloads for local businesses. That's both business and consumer. We also had 63,000 website views between April and December. To say the least, we were incredibly busy. We also had the Eggs and Issues Candidates Forum with a record 230 people registered, which occurred on March 4th. And you can still go to durangobusiness.org, check that out, and you can see the uh, county, or excuse me, the city council candidates and what they had to say. So again, durangobusiness.org for that information. We continue the uh, current chamber membership scholarships, and that's a big shout out and thank you to Bank of Colorado, First Southwest Bank, Purgatory, and the Payroll Department for sponsoring our chamber scholarships. And yes, Durango Rocks comes back and goes virtual on April 28th at six o'clock. Register at our website, durangobusiness.org. Find out all the of the year awards, everything from business, small business, entrepreneur, nonprofit, and the other of the year awards. Again, that's all on April 28th. And Clean Day will happen on May 28th, and also Girls Gone Golfing will return on May 28th, so look for that. And Durango Coolest Pet Contest returns this summer, not sure when, but after the huge success of the coolest dog, we will launch a coolest pet. So all pets, even goldfish, can enter. Also, upcoming, Chamber has Leadership La Plata applications being accepted right now. Go to DurangoBusiness.org, click on the Leadership La Plata uh, tab, and you do need two letters of recommendation. And once you get those, submit your application. And yes, there's some homework before you have to submit the application, but Leadership La Plata truly is one of the best things I've ever done. We also have the Young Professionals of Durango. Liz Demko has done an outstanding job as the president for the YPODs, and they've launched the Lunches with Leaders program. And diplomats are looking for more members. So we have a few openings. If you're interested, contact Kim Euler at the chamber. And always remind everybody to look local first. Buck and the dollar bill and all the gang, moolah, penny, everybody wants you to look local first. Coming up, coffee at home, and you can, uh, Soon, check it out in a park near you. Lunch and Learns are around the corner. In fact, our Lunch and Learn in May will be at the Botanical Gardens over by the library. So be sure and check that out. And I'm gonna tease this, Business After Hours. We haven't had a Business After Hours in almost a year and a half. Business After Hours will return summer of 2021. So stay tuned for more details. If you want more information about the Chamber, go to durangobusiness.org. We're here to help. We're going to connect you to the right people. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back next month with more Chamber Chat. And again, I'm Jack Llewellyn, Executive Director, Durango Chamber of Commerce. Have a great day.